Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is the another most important scenario based Power BI interview question that has been asked by the TCS interviewer during the recruitment process of Power BI developer job role. Okay. So before moving into the questions, let me show you the data set that I have already imported that is called as the C2. Okay. So if you want to see the data, just click on this table view and inside this C2 here you can see we have only two columns. One is product column and another is sales column or you can say the total sales okay for the each product. So these are the two columns that we have inside this seat 2 table. So based on this seat 2 table we have to calculate the rank of each product. We have to calculate the rank of each product based on their respective total sales figure. Alright so let's see how we can do this. So for that first of all you have to click on this particular table okay and inside this table we have to create one new measure all right so just click on new measure and rename it as rank value okay equal to then here we have to use one dex functions that is called as the rank x okay this is the rank x dex function which returns the rank of an expression evaluated in the current context in the list of value or the expression evaluated for each row in the specified table. Alright, and this rank x text function take the argument as the table expression then value then order and ties. Alright, so first argument is the table name. So the table name is called as the seat 2. So here we have to pass the table name as seat 2. Okay, then give the comma. After that next argument is the expression. So on what basis we have to rank this product that is based on the total sales value, right? So what we can do in place of this expression we can use the dex functions that is calculate and inside this calculate dex function we will use the sum dex function, okay? And then we will pass this column name inside this sum dex functions to calculate the total sales, all right? So here is the column that is sales column of the C2. So just click enter, then close the bracket, again close the bracket, again close the bracket. All right, then click enter. And now just drag this rank value measure inside this visual. Okay, now here you can see this is the another column that we have created, and the rank value column is showing the result at one for each row okay so this is not the exact value so why it is happening because rank x text function is assuming each record as one table okay that's why it is giving one for each record all right so to get the exact result what we have to do again click on this rank value measure that we have created okay and in this measure here we have to use one filter function that is called as the all okay so what the all dex function will do it will remove all the filter from this particular seat to table okay so just close the bracket and again click enter and now here you can see the rank value has been changed to one two three four like this correct so now if you will click on this ascending or descending drop down then it will show the data like this all right so this is the highest value that's why here it is showing 1 then 990 is the second highest value that's why here we are able to see as 2 but here in the third and fourth row the value is same right 820 and 820 that's why it is giving the rank as 3 and 3 but here in place of 535 it is showing the 5 because it is counting 1 2 3 4 5 correct but the sequence is like 1 2 3 then 4 right so in place of 5 it should come as the 4 got it so for that again we have to modify this measure so here we have to use some more argument to this rank x tax function okay for that just here give the comma okay so for the rank x text functions this is a table name and this value is the expression okay the next argument that we are going to give is the value so in place of value we will not give anything so just give another comma okay the next is order so in place of order i want to see the data in descending order okay then again give the comma then next argument is ties right so in place of ties we have two options that is dense and skip so just click on the dense dex functions then click enter so now here you can see this is the exact ranking for each product based on the total cells okay 
why it is because for the product machine the total cells is 2136 right so this is the highest cell right so for that it is giving the rank as the one then the next is 994 phones that's why here we are giving the rank as the two okay then this is 820 and 820 that's why it is giving the ranking as the three and three the next value is 535 so previously it was showing as the five but now it is showing as the four right this is happening due to this dense function all right likewise this rank column give the exact result or it is giving the exact ranking for each product which is based on the total sales value all right so in this way we can give the rank for each product based on their respective total sales figure all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye